I am uh, Kieran Thomas. I'm a product manager at uh, Teams. So I'll uh, be talking about Microsoft Teams app templates, uh, what they are, give you a little overview, um, talk about um, a few more things about the Microsoft platform, and we'll, uh, I'll also take you to the catalog overview page and um, uh, walk you through it. Yeah, let's jump right in. So the first thing I'd want to kind of go over is a little bit about the, uh, the you know, Microsoft Teams platform and why it's so important in thinking about how the platform works before we dive into app templates and go into details. So, you know, we're using Teams now. It's uh, uh, pretty obvious what the uh, core scenarios are, but the, you know, a lot of uh, functionality that you already use are built, uh, you know, using the uh, extensibility of the platform. So uh, when you want to engage with your users, uh, you want to involve uh, your services uh, with the where your users are collaborating and chatting, that's when you start thinking about using the Microsoft Teams platform. And what does that mean? Uh, you're probably already using a lot of the uh, Microsoft applications there. They are like uh, flagship uh, uses of the platform uh, that Microsoft has built. We have a lot of partner applications that have been built on the platform. Um, my favorite one is Poly that I used to um, take polls and uh, things like that. So these are you know, great examples of how uh, the platform gets used really well. But that's when we uh, can then move on to thinking about custom apps and how you can bring in your own scenarios from your own organizations and expand the options. So think uh, of HR teams, sales teams, how uh, they can collaborate better, how you can bring data so that they don't have to switch back between uh, using Teams and other applications that they have to do, use every day. You can think of it by industry, uh, whatever industry you're in, how can you make a particular process in your industry easier because uh, using all the folks who are using Teams in there. And uh, and as you think about that, you're, you, know, you come up with your ideas of what this, it might be an uh, application that's already existing or it might be a new application that you're trying to come up with. So there's a, you know, a key set of interfaces that Teams, the Teams platform offers, and I'll quickly walk through each of them. Uh, tabs are probably the most uh, complex, but also the most powerful because they're in an open uh, web interface that you can attach to your uh, Teams. There's bots, which are great for like conversational situations where you want to have a one-on-one -on -one, uh, um, uh, conversation between a service and a person or a group of people. There are adaptive cards, which are uh, dynamic, templatized uh, content that can be presented to the user uh, from your service, and it can dynamically update and take uh, quick actions from the user. There are messaging extension which live within the context of uh, when you compose a new message or when you're uh, reading an existing message, you can uh, bring your service in a small UI and make uh, do quick actions there. There are task modules, which are pop-ups that allow you to connect your service through a pre-existing schema. And finally, there's also notifications. This is where you can reach your users and uh, uh, bring your service to uh, Teams users and get them to notify whenever something changes in your service. And when you combine this with any of the backend services that Microsoft offers, you can you know kind of mix and match and bring all this together into Teams. So it kind of, you can kind of think of it as when you put the interfaces and the backend between your app and service and Teams, you get uh, the end-to-end -end scenario where uh, all living within Teams. So this kind of architecture is already existing within the different apps in Teams, and just want to quickly go through a different way of thinking of uh, each of the ty types of apps in Teams. So the obvious ones are we have over 45 Microsoft-built apps. These are tightly integrated uh, productivity tools, like the common ones like Word, Excel. So these are probably the most used ones by the folks in your organization. There are third-party apps, uh, over 450 available in the stores. This is directly, uh, you can install it from the store, ready to use. But then the, uh, you know, the crazy potential comes in when you think about building your own custom apps and uh, adding them to Teams. And that's where there's a lot of options and a lot of uh, possibilities. So there's, uh, you can build using the Power Platform. We have an integration with the Power Platform that allows you to use low code, no code. Uh, there's the app templates, which is what we're going to cover today. These are sample app uh, 
uh, Teams apps that are posted on GitHub that is available for anyone to pick up, learn, and use. And then, you know, you can also start from scratch, you know, from uh, if you have an idea and you want to learn how to use each of these, you can also do that. But today we'll be focusing on the app templates. So diving a little deep into app templates, what are they? You can kind of think of them as uh, plug and play experiences. They're sample Teams apps available on GitHub, ready to use. They uh, work right out of the box with very little uh, configuration required. They're one click, uh, meant for one click deployment. So we include a script that allows you to deploy and create all the uh, scripts to Azure. And they're built to meet the Teams engineering standards. So they've been ensured that they're secure and configurable. And you can also take them, customize them, extend however you'd like. And if you look at the graph on the right, I think it helps me understand really where the app template sits. So it's kind of in between using a ready to use app and uh, starting from scratch in terms of customizability and how long it takes to get, the, get your solution deployed end to end. So what are the benefits? So the most important one is that it's uh, ready to go. There's very little uh, configuration or coding required. But uh, the good part is that you can customize it. You can rename it, add your organization's branding, change the coloring, make it funky, whatever uh, you can think of, and add additional features that um, might be important to you and your organization. And it's also, since it's built with the Teams platform engineering uh, quality bar, it's uh, uh, ready to go out of the box and you can deploy it with one click. And you can also think of it as sample code, like you can learn from it, uh, play with it, even if you don't want the exact same thing. It, we, we offer m many different types that connect to different interfaces, so you can play with it, learn, and contribute and uh, improve the community too. Uh, let's jump into a few different examples. So I'll walk uh, through three of our most popular app templates to give you an idea, and then uh, we'll also walk through um, the catalog. So uh, my favorite one is the Company Communicator. This is a very simple uh, app in terms of what it does. It allows you to uh, message all the different users within your Teams tenant. And the reason why it's so powerful is, uh, especially when you have new users uh, getting into Teams and you'd want to help them, point them to tips and tricks, you can compose a message and send it directly to all the users. You can even select it to specific Teams, however you'd like. And this came out from direct customer feedback. We had a lot of um, customers asking for an ability to do this. And so that's why we decided to ha build a sample code base to do that. Uh, another one of my favorite ones is called the FAQ Plus. This is a, a simple Q&A bot that also includes a human in the loop. So imagine if you're a person with a question about uh, an HR policy, you can go to the bot, ask a question about it. But if it, uh, in, in most cases, if it doesn't answer it, you're kind of you kind of get stuck and you don't have uh, any other place. You get frustrated because the bot's not doing the job well. But the FAQ Plus allows you to escalate it in an expert, chat one-on-one -on -one directly with them in Teams and get the answer. And the expert has the option to add this new question that you asked into the knowledge base so that the next time someone asks it, it'll, the bot will be able to handle that. So it's very powerful. You can think of using it in, in HR, any kind of scenario where there's a, uh, where you get commonly asked questions. It could be within your IT department, your legal department. There's lots of opportunities there. And then moving on, another fun one is called Icebreaker. This is a one-on-one a -on -one bot that pairs up employees within your team or organization periodically, and you can configure how you want it to do that. It's uh, especially important in these times when we're all working remote uh, to uh, remind us to meet up with people and have virtual coffee chats. Uh, you can, uh, you know, if you're, if you're too busy one day, you can also pause the matches and uh, from directly using the adaptive card, you can click on buttons and chat with that person before you schedule a meeting, or you can propose a meeting and it'll pull up the next uh, open slot for both of you. So this is a super uh, fun way to get your um, you know, folks in your organization to meet up and, um, and you can learn from how adaptive cards work, how these conversational bots work by through this uh, app template. So uh, I've compiled a few of the questions that we commonly get asked about app templates. 
And the first one being, you know, what's the level of security and privacy and all those things uh, within the app templates? These are, like I mentioned earlier, built to be Teams engineer meets Teams engineering standards. So uh, we make sure that out of the box that uh, it um, is secure and any improvements that we incorporate from the community gets vetted by our engineering team before it gets uh, published. And, um, and the other common question is, what does it take to deploy these apps? Uh, they're you know, meant to be, uh, we include a, a single deployment script and a full detailed instruction. So we'll walk through the, uh, an example, but it'll, I'll show you how it goes step by step, how to create different resources in Azure, how to deploy the uh, Teams app, how to uh, get it all set up so that you can get it working. And uh, can anyone deploy these apps? Yes, uh, anyone who has the right permissions within your team's uh, tenant can deploy it. So depending on how it's uh, how uh, restrictive your admin has set it up to be, it might be uh, something that you can do without any changes, or you might have to reach out to your admin, but anyone with the right permissions can do it. And another common question we get asked is about the cost. Um, this doesn't cost anything. It's open source. It can be customized. You can do whatever you want with it. Um, but uh, the only thing I can think of is uh, the Azure resources that it uses. And to help you know, estimate with that, we also have a cost estimate section in all of our app templates. Uh, now, you might be wondering um, where uh, you can learn more about it. So let's take a few minutes and jump into the entire catalog. This, uh, so we'll let quickly walk through one of the examples so that you get an idea of uh, what the catalog looks like. So yeah, uh, this is the um, whole catalog, the page that has all the different links um, to all the uh, app templates that we've released on the right. And uh, on the left, you can see a quick overview of what they are, uh, pretty much what I talked about. And you know, as you scroll through, you can see uh, examples of them. There's the link to GitHub here, and we have screenshots of uh, the key parts of the UI. Uh, and if you jump into the company communicator, like we talked about, let's go in. And you can see here we have detailed instructions. We have a cool readme uh, in the documentation and the different sections that I talked about. Uh, take a look at it. We have the deployment guide, which walks through how to uh, do it step by step. Another uh, po popular one is the cost estimate, like I mentioned. It'll tell you exactly uh, on an average scenario how much it'll cost every month based on the resources that the app template uses. Um, yeah, so that's a, a quick overview of it. A little sneak peek into what's coming up next. So I'll be uh, me and my colleagues will be joining the future calls here and uh, walking you through these uh, app templates one by one, giving a quick a demo, uh, showing how to use it. So hopefully that'll help, um, and I uh, hope that you're as excited about uh, app templates as I am. Uh, yeah, that's that's me for today. Back to you, Vesa. Thank you, Kiran. So really cool stuff. And and like Kiran said, we already agreed that for the following bi-weekly calls, um, his team uh, himself or or some, then somebody else is gonna do a real life minute, 15 minutes live demos of the of the, all of the things. There's so many samples available. Uh, and at least for me, really the first time when I run into by an accident to app templates, I'm like, what are these? Why didn't I know about this? These are just absolutely brilliant because they basically demonstrate all of the needed capabilities for Microsoft Teams extensibility, and they are vetted by the, the Teams engineering. So the quality is, is actually there. So there's this awesome, awesome starting point. Just a quick question, Kiran, on on the if we have partners uh, on the on the call related on this. So I'll be basically saying that these are application templates which a partner can pull down and start building and extending them, and then they can actually package that and push to the store. Are they for that usage as well? Yeah, great question, Mesa. Yeah, these are open source MIT licensed app templates, so they're completely uh, free to use. You can pull them down, customize it, uh, reuse them how you want, and get it published to your internal store or to the public store, uh, however you'd like. And you can rebrand it, um, add features to it. You know, if you find something that you want to contribute, feel free to uh, contribute directly to the repo, or uh, you can package it up however you like and uh, and use it. Yeah. 
Yeah. So, uh, and I think that's that's really amazing when I think about. It. There's like 25, more than 25 uh, samples, which which mm -hmm. are really on the right quality level on showing how to make business out of uh, out of within the Microsoft team. So really, 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 uh, uh, please have a look on that. Uh, whoever is in the school or watching the recording later as well. But I think uh, that's it from that topic. Thank you, Kieran. Thank you.